just as the comments, as I was thinking through the presentation here, what would be a good way to be able to give the group here a different perspective of Zepto? Well, Zepto is a device that is a, it's an extremely innovative capsulotomy device. It doesn't disrupt the natural flow of cataract procedures as well as its proprietary cutting action doesn't burn tissue. And as we're going to show you as to the effect of not burning tissue, being, being able to cleave the tissue, we give an unusual performance to the edge of the capsulotomy. It requires minimal training by the physician and it is very low cost. Some of the unique features of Zepto is that the way that we basically are sucking down onto the capsule, we do not allow for any movement during the four millisecond cutting period, which allows a very uniform capsulotomy. Secondly, we have very good zonular safety, especially if you have patients that have pseudo-exfoliation. We can insert it in under a very small pupil. It can be used safely and effectively with corneal opacities. Another significant advantage when you're looking at putting in a very, very specialized multifocal lens is that intraoperatively, you can center this device over the visual axis and in a very short period of time, have a perfect capsulotomy right over the visual axis. So what we have here in all cases, whether they're complex or whether they're the more general case, we can use Zepto in every case. The device is, is made up of a disposable device here and a power supply. The capsule tip is a silicone, much like what you would see with a silicone lens, and a nitinol ring that allows it to be folded. To give you a little bit of history of how the device was developed, is that the first thing we wanted to do was to be able to perform a capsulotomy in an open sky environment to do this every single time. Once we were able to do that, we wanted to look at how can we get it inside a capsule in through an incision through the clear cornea. We were able to do this by not changing any of the materials, not changing the power, but basically shrinking down the actual application. Then we moved towards a smaller group of patients and a smaller incision down to basically a 2.4, as you can see here. In this patient down in El Salvador, we were able to perform a capsulotomy going through a 2.4, do it without disrupting the process, remove the device, and here we perform the capsulotomy. Then lastly, as we have today, we developed a device to be able to go through a very small 2.2 millimeter incision to do it easily, again, to perform a capsulotomy every time, and that the device is removed very easily from the eye. We also have the very unique benefit of being able to align, as you can see here, over the visual axis to put the capsulotomy directly in line with the physician and the patient. One other unique benefit that we just have started to work with, and I urge you to come by our booth to see it, is that we not only do an anterior capsulotomy, but we can also do a posterior capsulotomy. The device does not create any heat, as you can see by the evidence here of some trials that we've done by inserting a thermocouple into the eye. It is extremely strong. The capsule length is, is much stronger than either a femto and or CCC. The device basically is used by pulling a suction onto the capsule, traps water molecules, and during that period of time we deliver our energy and cleave the material. And when that occurs, what happens is 
is that we create an edge that is extremely unique. We shrink the collagen tissue and we create this fold. When that occurs, we have a much stronger edge than what is currently done today. Our clinical trial testing that we have done outside the U.S. has been in 20 patients and have got some extraordinary results. They picked up the hardest cases that they could find and we can do them without incidents. Our CE mark was approved in November. We're in process with the FDA right now to finalize our clinical trial. We expect to be in the market, in European market, sometime in September, and hopefully into the U.S. market in the latter part of this year. Thank you.